Hello and welcome to my awesome health journey. I'm Brett Dupree and today I want to talk about uh, exercise that I do periodically. I'm going to try to do a little bit more because it is, I don't want to call it profound and life changing or anything like that because I'm not trying to sell you anything, but it has been helpful for me to just embrace the magic of the moment and the uniqueness and the specialty that is the life that I am living and to really embrace the nowness of life. And I know that sounds silly, and it kind of is. I'm not going to deny that most of the stuff in personal growth and personal development and spiritual growth and spiritual development, especially from like the new age hippie space, is uh, silly. And this, I don't know, far as I know, it's detrimental in the long run. But so far I haven't seen any evidence that it is. So basically, it's pretty much just looking around and thinking about how special every part of our life is. I mean, what do you? What do I mean by that? It's just the uniqueness of our being. Thinking about myself, so I might be, you know, basically, sorry, thinking myself at this moment that you know, I this is the only time I'm ever going to be here at this time, and what got me here was just. So many just random circumstances and personal decisions of me and people, more than my mind could even fathom, like trillions and trillions of decisions and accidents led to this point right here. Just me making the decision to make this video. I could have not made this video. Just me wearing this purple shirt. I could have not made this purple shirt. And then, you know, going back to just the uniqueness of the fact that I'm here, that I'm part of this world, this earth, that I'm here, period, that my mom and my dad met, and their mom and their dad met, and their mom and their dad, and their mom and their dad, and their mom, and their mom all the way down the line made it so uh, here I am at this moment. But not only that, that, you know, certain species, because people talk about evolution as this, like, n scientific, not, amazing situation but think about it you know like one day what lightning hit a primordial soup and caused this ch amino acid chains to hit in a certain way that created simple life and that life got more complex and that life got more complex and through random hands and uh survival of the fittest and cooperation and the desire to live certain aspects built and built and built and built and just through millions to maybe even billions billions of years i think I'm not saying I'm a scientific expert, but billions of years of all those things happening, and here I am. But not not only that, not only that situation, I mean, to think about the fact for that even to happen, there has to be this, like, bang of some kind that we can't even just fathom existed of, like, maybe nothingness, maybe more somethingness than we can understand or have seen at least with our observable world just exploded and created these stars and then everything started with hydrogen and then went to helium and then with like oxygen, carbon and all these other building blocks and that star freaking exploded to make the atoms that make up my body. <laughs> it's fascinating to think of and that's amazing. But it's not just me. Look at this purple shirt. This purple shirt existed through oil because I believe it has, um, you know, uh, blah, 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 you know, uh, some that synthetic material made from oil, which are plants, it's like millions of millions of years of plants without the right bacteria to break it down, being just piled up and then pressurized into oil, put out in a situation, spun up. Um, even the being able to dye things purple is ridiculously amazing. And took a lot of human ingenuity from it being the one of the most rare dyes in the world that, like, Tyr in the ancient world were able to create an empire being just primarily, you know, maybe not primarily, I'm not an expert on that either, but a big part of it was being able to dye things purple. And here I am, just a regular Joe in the middle of 2024, just wearing this purple shirt that costs like $60 because, you know, DXL is kind of expensive. But at the same time, that's nothing. People went to war to wear, get purple dyes. And here I am just buying it off a rack. 
and just how currency, how I'm able to buy, how I'm able to get things, how all little things, you know, even this pen, this pen right here made of plastic and ink and this ballpoint. People used to go with quills and here I am being able to write with a ballpoint pen, something I don't even think of as being an amazing invention, but it really is. It's fascinating how that came to be. And they're freaking everywhere now. The plastic that made it was also those plants with the oils and those everything that exists now is just done by so many life choices, so many decisions, so much just time and random happenstance and just amazingness that like in reality this world is kind of amazing this life that i'm living is kind is, is amazing here i am and it's that green screen it's that light it's this microphone i mean just this is a computer this is all zeros and freaking ones turning up uh, switches on and off and you can hear my freaking voice computers are freaking magic i know they're science and all that but just I couldn't create one off of my brain, and it just feels amazing. And every once in a while, I think it's good for me to recognize that and to just embrace how special my life is. And I don't mean this to say something as sad as so I don't waste it, because that just makes me feel bad about it. But instead of Worrying about that, just embrace it. Even the, keep on forgetting the name of the person I interviewed when I in my podcast, but the sacred mentality of life. Even those moments where I'm sitting down watching TikToks, uh, feeling kind of sad and able to move. That moment is precious because that's a moment that I have. And I'm doing what I need to do at that time to deal with the existence and the circumstances of my life. And that's fine. And it's fine to do that. And no matter what I do, really, as long as I, you know, keep on pushing forward and continually try to do my best and be the best person I can be, it's fine that I've made mistakes in my past. And it's fine that I will make mistakes in my future because I am not a perfect human being. I'm a flawed human being on this amazing planet and I will continue to make mistakes. I'll continue to accidentally hurt people. I maybe even purposely hurt people because I'm hurt inside and I, that part of me just lashes out in a very unfortunate way. And I just have to deal with that action and do my best to deal with it maturely with emotional intelligence and I will probably fail in that too or I might fail I won't say probably fail I won't put that out there but I might fail and that's fine because you know I'm just trying to I'm just doing my best I'm doing my best to truly embrace this wonderful world that I live in this wonderful experience that I have that's precious unique experience that in an infinitive universe that only I get to have and no other one no 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 it's never gonna exist again and I like and I like and I like to love it and you know so that's what I've been doing um periodically and it feels good it feels good well I love you for who you are Thank you for watching, and you are worthy.